today. <laughs> I think I found some shelter for the microphone, but I don't know, so I apologize uh, already. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alice. Welcome to my channel. Where is Alice? Uh, yes, Goose, my van that I live in, has it broken down. <laughs> Uh, good time to break down though, because I'm in Sweden, in my hometown where I grew up, so I can just stay with my parents instead. Um, but this video is gonna be about how to survive the dark winters. Uh, I have had a lot of travel, like feeling good during the winter since I was like a teenager, and now I'm. Um, 22, 23 in like a few days. Happy birthday to me! Uh, but uh, it's always been really really hard and uh, I know that I'm not alone about this so let's talk about it and if you come up with a new idea how to survive dark winters let me know in the comments and I will try it out because I do almost everything to make this dark winters better. <laughs> let's go! So the first thing is basically going outside, like we only get a few hours of sun every day and uh, even if, if you are often like in school or at work, uh, you should try to just catch that sunlight while, while you can, like on the lunch break, go outside. And in the weekends make sure to get up early when the sun goes up and go outside. And yes, I know, <laughs> even if it isn't sun a lot, like this November, it was like no sun at all. I think it was one day when it was sun and the rest was just cloudy. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's better to just, I find it easier to just go outside anyway and like try to catch that lightness, even though it's cloudy, just go outside. Maybe it's a little bit less windy here. And when you're outside, like today it's actually quite warm, but that also means that it's no snow, even though it's January, and that makes it even darker, because the snow makes it a little bit light, even though it's colder. But the second important thing to make it all like enjoyable winter is dress warm. Like, don't care about how you look, you're like, just be warm, have gloves, and this is like a... Okay, I really honestly like this <laughs> shirt, it looks really cool, but it's a woolen... Um, my mom actually knitted this, how cool isn't that? But <laughs> bragging, uh, that was not what I meant. Anyway, <laughs> dress warm, like don't, don't care about like, oh, I want my sneakers, because your shoes is gonna get wet and cold, like, oh! And that just makes everything more miserable than it already is when it's dark all the time. You know? <laughs> oh, there you are! I'm getting a little bit stressed now because uh, actually while I'm recording this video about the darkness, the sun is going down. So we need to hurry up before I need to be back. So before the sun goes down, I need to tell you. I would need to cut here because it's really loud. Shh! Trees! Quiet! And when you are out walking and doing your winter daily adventures, you need a backpack! Like this one. <laughs> I... Uh, gosh, these trees! Quiet! I'm trying to make a video here. I got in contact with Gaston Lunge, a Swedish brand. And they gave me this backpack and it's environmental friendly material which feels really important to me, especially when I buy new stuff, otherwise I buy second hand, you know? It's uh, like vegan leather and that kind of stuff. But I got it two weeks ago and I've used it like every day since because I, I honestly <laughs> like them, even though they are like Yes, they are giving me these backpacks so I can talk with them about them in this video. You know that, of course, but uh, generally, I like them. They got this pocket here where you can have your small stuff and it's really secure here behind your back so you can travel with it. Uh, but you could also like use it to work in the city because it's super clean and like nice design. Especially 
a day like this. Let's keep on going. Oh no, I need to tell you. <laughs> you can also get 50% off on all their stuff like backpack or wallets and stuff like that. So use the code 15ALICE and I'll put all the information down below. And go and check them out. Now, let's keep on going. Also, try to get some workout done. Like going outside, you'll get some workouts. But also like go to the gym or like I know it's hard when it's dark outside and you just want to be under your bucket, but if you do some workout, you will feel better. Trust me. Move, move. And now when we are like halfway through the video, I just want to say that we shouldn't forget to just embrace the winters and embrace the coldness and the darkness because the darkness is what makes us have the different like spring and autumn and winter and it makes us appreciate at least me the summers way more uh, and you can just see the beauty in nature how everything changed like year after year after year and it's just everything works out you know and even though it can be hard and we need to find our techniques how to survive it in some way, I guess. Uh, you shouldn't forget that it's it's something beautiful in it. It's really deep, but uh, I reckon it's important to see of it that way too. And I know like years ago the winters were honestly really hard, like people died. <laughs> And I'm sure people still do that, but in my life, I would say most people do have somewhere warm to go and work to go to, so they have food and they have heat. Uh, and then we encounter this other problem that wouldn't be a problem if we had worse problems. You know what I mean? Like everything is relative. The sun is going down now, so <laughs> let's go inside. That's better. No more problem with the sound. So I guess that some of you that is watching this video is like, like I have been, except for this year, <laughs> uh, probably quite like uh, feeling that life is quite hard right now and want some tips and tricks how to make it better during the winter because the summer is always great, you know. And I feel you guys, I feel you so much and uh, just listen to what I said in the when I was outside um, on the bridge, on the uh, dock uh, and take that in and don't forget to breathe. <laughs> anyway, let's keep on going. The second thing, oh, I don't have it in the van right now because I'm living inside now, but uh, uh, it is D vitamin. Uh, you can't especially if you're vegetarian you need to take D vitamin during the winter half year because you can't get D vitamin from the food and vegans you should take it all year round and even though you are eating normal if you're eating fish fish has a lot of D vitamin um, and uh, like meat has a little bit but not as much like it's quite usual that you don't get enough of it anyway so do take that. One of the things that D vitamin does is to like give you more energy basically. Uh, so that helps a lot. Let's let's sit down. Ah, oh, that's better. Uh, so basically this applies to everyone that lives in the nor northern countries and I guess maybe South Chile and stuff like that uh, because the sun is so low on the sky that it hits a lot of particles before it hits your skin and you can produce D vitamin when you get sun on your skin but the sun isn't enough and it's only a few hours a day and yada 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 so not if you're living in like a warm country obviously <laughs> but basically just to make it clear when it's dark 
your body automatically produces melanin, I think, the hormone that will make you tired, that is the sign for your body to go to sleep. So when it's dark, you will get tired automatically, like you can't help it. And you just need to fight that <laughs> pretty much. But now I have talked a lot about what you can do that is like quite, you need to force yourself to do it. But let's talk about what you also can do that is about embracing the darkness. <laughs> uh, just like enjoy it, you know? Don't, in the summertime, I often feel quite bad if I sit inside a whole day and like watching series because I should be outside in the sun and enjoying it because I know that the winters are so dark. So basically, just enjoy it. Try, try. I know that it gets boring after a while, but try to still be like, oh, it's cozy to be under the blanket, have a cup of tea or hot chocolate or a warm coffee or something like that. Lit a fire, like, uh, have some candles, make it cozy for you. And like, watch your favorite series or movies and binge watch the whole day, because it's dark anyway, so who cares really? And you can just like, be cozy and be lazy and that's okay. Just like, try to enjoy it, rest, and then you can be awake the whole summer. <laughs> and then I have one last tip for you. And it's also a little bit difficult because you know, I'm saying that you should enjoy yourself, be inside, be cozy under the blanket, drink hot chocolate, watch series, and then you often want to eat like quite unhealthy, like a pizza or like lots of chocolate or candy. And sure, do that. But if you just eat unhealthy, then you won't get all the vitamin and minerals that you will need for the body. So your body will feel bad because they can't do the stuff that they are supposed to do so you will feel bad mentally also that's like a key to feel good is to eat healthy i know it sounds so boring but it's true if you get all the minerals and vitamins like if you lack one vitamin that will affect you and your body and how you think, how your mind is going around. Uh, so I know it's boring, I know, but <laughs> try, eat healthy, uh, you will feel better, I promise. Work out and healthy eating. Uh, but I'm still struggling a lot during winter time, so like if you have any tips or tricks <laughs> i would honestly love to hear them like what is your key to make the winters more bearable <laughs> more enjoyable let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> if you want to watch more of my videos update on my life guys by the way if you are interesting interested this time in the end of the video when I came back to Sweden, uh, I applied for work and now I'm working at a cafe in a supermarket and it's really fun. I really like it, but I'm kind of, I have run out of money. I'm thinking of doing a video about um, like the budget when I'm traveling, so I'm going to do that. But right now I don't have any money at all, pretty much. I will see you next time. I don't know when that is. Maybe I'm in another country because I have a trip planned. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to bring you with me, but uh, or I upload another video before that. But I am very sorry if I don't upload every, every single week now, the next few weeks, because I'm kind of going to go around and collect some material for you. Anyway, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Like and subscribe. And don't forget the bell bottom. Bye guys. <laughs> See ya. Wow guys. Cool sky.